Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, 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 back to a Fix Your Form video. My name is Silent Mike. I'm here to help you with today your squats. If you want to get involved, let's see three reps at 70%. We need a clean, horizontal video. Send it to askmikke at gmail.com, and we'll try to feature you. Remember, we get tons of video entries, so be patient with us. We're slowly working through them. Share this with your friends. Give this thing a thumbs up and subscribe if this helped you out at all. We got my man squatting. First off, my man looks a little heavier than 70%. Second off, my man looks like you're just a hair high. Um, what we need to do is start to work on our pacing and see how you can control the weight. Be quick, but don't hurry. We want to be aggressive into the hole, but we also don't want to pause unless you're trying to do a pause squat. We want to get a little bit of that stretch reflex. We want to get a little bit of that rebound out of the hole, and that's going to allow us to uh, be a little stronger, lift a little bit more weight, and just find that rhythm. I talk about pacing being most important in the squat. Pacing is also important in the bench, but I believe it's more important in the squat, and that's how fast you go into the hole and the rhythm in which you squat. Now, it's going to be different person to person by uh, perhaps their stance, their mobility, and their leverages, and also just kind of how fast they can move while keeping tight because you don't want to drop into the hole. If you just drop into the hole, what will happen is you might get some rebound, some uh, bounce out of there, but then your hips are going to fly up, body's going to shoot forward, chest is going to go down, weight's going to be ahead of your toes, you're going to miss a squat. But if you go too slow or maybe, in your case, too inconsistent, then you kind of get a random pause or different rhythm into the hole coming out of the hole and what we want is that consistency uh you start the squat off really really well your knees are going forward just fine hips going back but what happens is you kind of have a random pause and then you get a little bit forward uh, another thing i'd recommend is facing away from the mirror your neck is just jammed up it looks a little bit uncomfortable and you're already scrunching into that neck uh, coming out the chin's a little bit too high now neutral spine is something that maybe talked about a little bit too much um yes we want a neutral spine no uh, you don't have to look uh, have a directly neutral spine, but what we want is that our hips are moving correct away, and often when our neck or our chin is not neutral, our hips can move a little funky. So I suggest facing away from the mirror and figuring this out. So for you, my man, I drop that chin a little bit, drop those eyes a little bit. I know we got another angle of you coming up, the crotch cam, uh, so I'll try to get a better idea of what's happening here. It looks like your knees are also caving a bit. So chin a little bit down. Eyes a little bit down. The other thing I would recommend is try moving that barbell a little bit lower on your back. Um, try to get it just above your rear delts and really squeeze your back tight together. The other thing I'm going to recommend is that you lower the weight. Again, it looks like it's a little bit heavier than 70%. Third and last is what I'm going to recommend is get a slightly wider stance and really focus on feeling the ground with your feet. You want your entire foot in contact with the ground and then you're going to force those knees out hard. So for you, we got to work on that pacing. Not pausing in the hole unless you're trying to do pause squats. Face away from the mirror, neck down, eyes down. Stance a little bit wider. Feel the ground as hard as you can with your entire foot and really force those knees out. Now you got a little bit of work to do, my man, but you got your bases covered. It's just about cleaning up those little things to really perfect the squat. The squat is a highly technical movement. People talk about, oh, powerlifting's pure strength and it's this and it's grunt, 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 man, 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 caveman, caveman. But there's a lot of technique involved. And as soon as we can start to clean up that technique, you'll be able to handle more volume in training and you'll be more efficient. You'll be able to build some more muscles while also getting stronger. Moving on to our next candidate of the day, our number two bachelor, ladies and gentlemen. For all two of you ladies, he might be single. He's wearing some clean Nikes. He's got the shorty short soccer shorts. He's got a little quad sweep going. And he's got a really, really clean squat, if I do say so myself. One, i just like to shout out to that rack design. That is a piece of shit. Um, your squat, my friend, is really, really nice. What we try to do is on that first one, it looks like you get pitched forward just a little bit. So what I would try to do is force those knees out and hips back just a hair more. Uh, it looks like you kind of come to the end range of your ankles. Um, and then it just forces you to pitch onto your toes a hair. So uh, another thing you could do is maybe slow yourself down. Um, the other thing is just slightly less knees forward. So knees out, hips back will allow you to reach that depth while not shifting your forward uh weight onto your uh, toes. The second rep and third rep are a little bit better, but that first one, you rush a hair and knees just go a hair too far forward for you. Um, again, these are all cues and these are all particular to the person. Again, the neutral spine. Another one is a lot of people, I tell them to push into their knees. Oh, he reversed, not the camera, but his stance. I like that. 
Overall, it looks really, really solid, especially from this angle. It's just from that side angle, I can see you getting pitched forward just a bit again. Uh, another thing I'll try to experiment with you as well is trying to move that bar a hair lower. When we're going with the lower bar position, it's not always the best, but I think for most people, you're going to be a little bit more comfortable and lift more uh, weight that way. What you want to do is really squeeze your back together, trying to pull your elbows down and together behind your back. Squeezing those shoulder blades, squeezing those rear delts, really flexing all of your back as much as you can. And then you want to place that barbell often fit perfectly, kind of mid-trap, either on that rear delt or just above it. It makes a little shelf for itself. And if you don't have a little shelf back there, sometimes you have to raise your elbows up behind you. And if you, that doesn't work, then it's time to do a more rows, a more, more pull downs, more face pulls, and build up that back. But overall, dude, super solid squat, my man. We got the SBD crew in here. It's a really good squat too. You can see the barbell right here is kind of sitting on the rear delt. Even him, I think, could go a hair lower to be a little bit more comfortable. You lose a little bit of tightness on that second rep. It looks like you're trying to rush, get a little bit too much rebound. But that third rep is clean. I think that third rep's your cleanest overall, dude. I think, you know, scale of 1 to 10, that's, that's a 9 out of 10 squat. It looks really, really solid. Um, one thing that I'm uh, going to be nitpicky about is on that unrack, as much as you can, try to unrack the weight, and this goes for everyone, with your hips and not your knees. You can squat it out of there, but it's going to be a little inconsistent. Obviously, a deep J hook like that rack doesn't help, but as much as you can, unrack a weight with your hips, it's going to be a little bit better. Number two, for your spotter's sake, repeat. This is probably the most important. For your spotter's sake, either pull those shorts up or pull those pants down. You see his eye line, and it's going right down that butt crack. And now it looks like he's a good friend to you. The guy's stylish. You guys are matching. He looks like he's strong himself. He's got that peach boy booty. But if he's got to stare at your butt crack every single time you're doing a triple, heavy triple in the gym, I mean, the guy's going to end up with pink eye. Inevitably, inevitably, he's going to end up with pink eye. And that's not going to be healthy for either of your training environments or, it, or your progression or your program. So what I recommend is pulling those pants up, shirt down. Just kidding, my man. But overall, that's a super, super, super good squat. You just rushed one of those a little bit, got a little empty in the hole, um, but the other two reps were near perfect. My man with the calculated walkout, I like it. Let's see what we got. All right, uh, this is actually a great case uh, and something I see very often is people hear, you know, low bar squat and they hear hips back and they hear all these things. And so they're going to squat with a super vertical shin. Now, some people can get away with this, but I think it's more optimal for the majority of people if you can use your quads, glutes, and hams in the, in the squat. And if you have a super sh vertical shin, chances are you're not using that much quad as it has to do with knee extension. So what I would try to do for you is... The cue pushing into your knees and starting that squat, pushing your knees forward. Another thing I would recommend is a slightly narrower stance and moving that arm grip in a little bit. Um, with the squat, I would always recommend everybody put their grip in as close as they can. That does not cause pain and allows you to put the bar where you want. It's going to automatically force your back into a tighter, better position for the squat and automatically build that shelf for you. So um, whatever that is, whatever finger that is in the ring, I would put your grip as close as you can and really wedge yourself under that barbell. Um, but for you, my man, I would really focus on pushing in those knees so then you don't get ahead of yourself on the squat. Uh, your torso gets progressively uh, a, a increased angle. And what we basically want is a little bit forward lean or that torso angle is fine in the low bar squat. There's nothing wrong with it. We can use our low back, our glutes and hams and squat a lot of weight safely. But what we want to do is maintain whatever torso angle we start with. We want to maintain that through the entire range of motion, through the entire repetition, through each set, through each rep. So uh, in your case, you're getting drastically uh, increased angle. You can see right here, you're straight up and down and your chest starts to fold as you go down and even more so out of the hole. So if you move that stance in, push those knees forward, get a tighter back and maybe even a tighter belly and really think about leading with your traps into the barbell. Again, guys, I appreciate you. Hopefully you picked up a couple cues, a couple tips that help you in the squat. Let's keep getting better together. Be sure to give this thing a thumbs up if you appreciate these type of videos. I appreciate the support so much, my friends. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. New video dropping every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Silent Mike. I'm out of here. Thanks, guys.